Okay, uh, this part of the greenhouse is beginning a uh, major transformation. It's going to be ready with all the fall um, starter plants that I have going. Um, and uh, I don't know that I've shown you that yet, but I will uh, give you a peek at what we're, we're doing here in just a bit. I'm going to be cleaning all this stuff up, cleaning it all out, getting ready for fall. And here shortly, we're going to be putting new skin on this rascal. So stay tuned. And for those of you who have been asking about the cantaloupes on the hydroponic system, uh, this, this is the end of that experiment, uh, at least with this system. It is deficient in some of the nutrients. Uh, what's good for the tomatoes uh, just isn't getting it here. So uh, we may try something a little later on with a separate system and um, adjust the uh, the nutrient solution uh, to be more suitable for these guys. You can barely see it, but that's a wheelbarrow underneath there. That is uh, what was left of the Dutch bucket system, and uh, it was a very productive system. And uh, I just wanted to thank God for his blessing on these plants and uh, everything that they produce for us. I'm going to compost them now and they'll still be given. Believe it or not, this little bit of algae is not bad at all. The buckets um, that I used with the kitty litter have very little algae inside it compared to the white pails that I have on the other system. Um, and that basically goes to what others have said about the, uh, the light penetrating the pail. Um, we we'll just clean these up with a little bleach and soapy water, and we'll go again. I just kind of knock as much of this off of here as I can, reclaim it, put it down in the bottom. And I shake some of this off in my in my raised beds over there, uh, so I don't waste too much of it. Okay, when I wash them out, I, I soak them in a little bleach water, and then uh, I just take the hose and spray it all off. Most of the uh, the roots all come off when with the hose. You don't have to sit there and pick them off. There's a few of them that stay on there, and it ain't gonna hurt anything if they do. Um, but anyway, they come pretty clean.
if you can see that very good, but there's five. Nine more to go. Okay, y'all. I don't know if you know what this is or not, but this was down inside the one of the Dutch buckets. It was down in the perlite. Um, that, if it were green, and I know you know what it is, that is a tomato hornworm. Uh, he was down inside the bucket. I guess he fell down in there, or um, he was thinking it was like soil, because uh, Bernard Navajo Pa, uh, he told me, and I'll put his link down below there, that guy's full of information. Y'all need to know something about gardening? That's the guy to ask. Um, he's a master gardener, and he seems to have an answer for everything, and every time I've double-checked him on it, uh, just looking things up on the internet and we all know everything that's on the internet is true ha ha anyway um, he's spot on but he was telling me these things usually come up out of the ground and uh, lay their eggs on your tomato plants and uh, these guys come out uh, and then start devouring your plants well this guy must have been thinking he was in the dirt that or he fell down in, in the uh, uh, the perlite and just couldn't get out but anyway he said uh, Bernard was saying it was kind of rare that they'd be in a greenhouse but here they are uh, this is one of them that uh, sure wished he wasn't just thought I'd let you know okay tubers I have um, completed a pretty good piece of this inside here I got the beds done and the cracky beds are well, half set up anyway. I'll show you what that looks like. I got uh, filled that bed full of lettuce. I got to clean the uh, pumpkins and, I'm sorry, the watermelon and cantaloupe out of that one. These are just starting to take over. These cantaloupe and those over there. So, that one's got to go. Don't know how many I'll get out of this. It's uh, getting pretty cool at night. I'm going to have to drop these curtains. And... Uh, so it'll stay warmer in here, but I'll show you the uh, stuff I got going down there. Okay, in, in this bed I have spinach, and I'm going to finish filling it out with some cauliflower. That's going to be cauliflower in this bed. In this bed I've got head lettuce and some broccoli. That one's full of carrots, and they're just starting to come up. And this one I have collards. And broccoli and over here I've started uh, well kind of re uh, configured this a little bit but I've got my peppers back where they were and some new tomato plants my um, cucumbers are still going on down there I kind of went out of focus there for a minute and my cracky I'm sorry my Dutch buckets have all completely been redone except for one I kept it to keep some tomatoes coming in the house and I will be uh, probably pulling that up and putting a new starter in it pretty soon the uh, other rail is completely redone as well there's about four of them in the middle over here that got a little bit of a head start I, I redid those because those were the ones that the cucumbers were in earlier and I pulled them about I don't know two weeks ago as far as the crack key beds go uh, I got rid of that styrofoam and went and bought me a piece of this insulated board and and kind of read in them I got this is romaine lettuce that's going to be the the bib lettuce um, leaf lettuce there we go that's what we got she's done for this week anyway this is a work week and I'm gonna have to get back on it and uh, so I won't be out here except for to uh, check on things so it's all pretty much on automated timers for watering and nutrient feedings and everything anyway so that's it for now
Y'all go plant some dirt. We'll see you next time. Okay, tubers, God I did bless. want to show you this. That little tomato started while I was rooting this plant. And uh, it was a flower. I left it on there. I was going to pull all the flowers off, but I left it on there and it started to grow. So maybe it won't be too long between when I have to take him down and these start producing. God bless. We'll see you next time.